Michael Campbell, the last time I saw you was four months ago in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. You'd had five years out of the game. That was your first event in five years. How have things been progressing since? Uh, slowly. Um, slowly over here in America. Uh, I was relying on invites for the year, but unfortunately uh, there was no invites available for me, which is a bit of a mystery, but that's the way it goes. But, um, yeah, it's my second uh, senior tour event. My first one was at uh, Oak Hill, <laughs> and that was tough, um, going out there for my first seniors event. Second tournament in six years. It's mentally, it really just uh, kicked my butt, you could say. But now I'm a bit more, um, a bit more calm about things. You know, seeing the guys again. You know, I'm, you know, I played with all these guys since uh, since I was back in the 90s and you know 2000s. Likes Miguel and Monty and Langer and you know, and the list goes on and on and on. So it's nice to be back out here and see the boys and uh, have some fun. Five, six years away from the game, as you referenced. What what have you been up to in that time? Have you been giving back to the game a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I have been. You know, I've been um, uh, opened my, my golf academy in southern Spain and in Villa Patagonia, which has been a lot of fun doing that. Uh, to give back to the game has given me so much. And uh, I've been teaching my monsters, you could say. I, I've got a group of seven kids I'm teaching. Michael's monsters, uh, uh, <laughs> creating monsters. But anyway, <laughs> no, that's been fun. And, and I've um, I really enjoyed just passing on my knowledge and my experience to these young kids, you know, because they've got a lot to learn out here. They're only 17 to 25 years old and great little players but need experience. And just hopefully my um, mentoring will help. 2005, you became the first international sectional qualifier to win the US Open at yeah. Pinehurst, beating Tiger Woods down the stretch. How did your life change after that? <sighs> Man, um, your whole world changes uh, for, the, for the better. Um, yes, it was definitely uh, one of those weeks where everything came together. It's one of those weeks where I just play great from tee to green. I think I hit like average of 10, 10 fairways that week and played a great. Um, I remember the last nine holes, I had 11 putts. So it's a combination of um, ball striking with uh, short game. It's like any magic that you win, or any PGA Tour event or, or European Tour event, you've got to play well. And, and the competition now is, even out here, for example, is tough. You know, I was watching the, the scoring uh, from last week, and 17 under, 16 under, these old guys. <laughs> Man, it's going to be tough out here, but I'm um, just really enjoying the, uh, the, the possibilities, you could say, and the challenges. Well, a couple of weeks ago when the US Open was being played at Pebble Beach, you were there. You were at Cypress Point next door taking part of the, the Champions Challenge. How was that, catching up with mm -hmm. old friends and, and reminiscing with legends of the game? Oh, yeah, it was uh, a night I'll never forget. Yes, we played Cypress Point the day on Tuesday morning and you know, everyone was there. But 22 guys were there. Then the dinner that night on Tuesday was amazing. We, I think we had 33 guys there, 36 living, um, you know, the legends. Tom Watson, Nicholas, you know, and everyone was there. You know, Tiger was there, BK was there, and um, Dustin Johnson, you know, Roy was there. So it was, it was such a great time. Just, um, uh, Justin Rose was there as well on my table, and it was so much fun just catching up and just talking about the old times and just talking about normal things, not really about golf. Uh, the fun thing about that night was that everyone had to get up and say a story about their, their major win. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember uh, Johnny Miller being very very emotional about it. Uh, it, was, it was so much fun under, under the same roof with these amazing golfers, um, sharing some stories about our, our victories was definitely incredible. And you said this is your second tournament uh, as, as, a, uh, as a senior. Expectations this week and going forward? Um, you know, expectation this week, I'm, I'm actually, funny enough, I'm actually hitting the ball further now than I've ever been, ever since my, I retired, ever since, I'm, even in my prime, you know, I'm hitting at 300 now, which is unusual, but I'm moving the same, you know, um, if not better, I don't know why, but I am, uh, maybe I needed that six year break to get away from, from golf a little bit and recharge the batteries, but I'm feeling pretty good, um, but just to, the biggest problem I have right now is lack of tournaments, you know, I need to play, need to play, get and play and compete. Um, yes, I've been playing a little bit here and there with my friends, my buddies, and practice rounds here this week, obviously, but it's just all about competing. And that's one thing that's missing, and it's, it's not about uh, if, it's all about it's, it's when for me, I think. Um, I'll start playing well again. I can feel that my game's coming uh, nicely together, and hopefully this week will be uh, its time. Well, you sound positive, and we're excited to see you back out here at Cambo. Play well this week. Cheers, mate. Good right. stuff, mate, yeah.